Cooking my version. All right, guys, today we will be preparing coconut curry shrimp. All right, coconut curry shrimp, which is pretty easy to prepare and quick. So we're coming out with some quick and easy meals to prepare. And I just want to apologize in our previous video. I kept saying chicken when I shrimp. But anyways, chicken did I prepare alongside it. So I mis mixed up the whole thing, but it was actually shrimp. So again, we have a next shrimp video for you today and we're not rich. So not because we had a shrimp video means that we have the money. But we want to give you guys good content. So we're putting out quality content, right? So with no further ado, as I said, all the chopped seasonings, um, powder seasoning, I got that below in the comment section. And as we can see, we have burned some curry with some garlic. Therefore, to get that curry flavor or that garlic and curry flavor going, we're preparing the pot for the shrimp which will enter the pot in about five four three two one there you go beautiful you probably can curry yeah you can curry your shrimp if you want before but i mean this is an easier way you know you're tossing a few you rest of your stuff with it but you know we're trying to get that curry and garlic and shrimp for falling off from now so that's when we start making the gravy, the gravy. Well, the curry got already not the shrimp. All right. Something to note. May not say comment section earlier. I meant description. Do not shoot the messenger, you know. All right. Back to the video. So this is something quick and easy to prepare. As I said, you don't need to put the flame on high, medium to low flame. Should do the trick. All right. And you know, after you put your your um your shrimp in, you, you start throwing in all your chopped um seasoning to you know get them cooking. Because you know shrimp not take long. Shrimp take less than ten minutes so for really cook. Less than ten minutes. So you, you need to time it and then throw in all your chopped seasonings so you prepare the pot for the gravy, which I will comprise a coconut milk. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so you may be wondering, Mr. Vaisova guy, this does not look like it's gonna create enough gravy. That's correct. So now you'd want to season your shrimp with enough seasoning so that when you add a bit of water to create your gravy, it not make it long or bland or not have much taste. You want to season it enough so when you add your water, you still have all your flavor. You can taste the seasoning, right? Because you know the the amount of coconut milk where you could use won't be enough. So you have to prepare for when you add a bit of water and allow it to cook down a little bit. As I said, you won't be cooking it for very long. Um, maximum amount of time this will take is like between fifteen to like twenty minutes or even less. Right, so the cooking down process is not long, and you don't want to chew enough water in there for drone it. Remember, people, you not look for drone it, so you want you create a soup, you create gravy. All right, all right, and uh, something to note also if you don't want to use water, you can use enough coconut milk, you can use more coconut milk than what was used in this video. If you don't want long it out with no water, you can use more coconut milk, probably a dupe of water for going with it. It's up to you. But in this case, the chef used a bit of water to really get it going. And now we have our plated curry shrimp and rice. Tell me how that looks. Leave your comments down in, in the comment section. And again, we'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell.